welcome to Sarah Craft Studios. I am Sarah. I am the owner and dyer behind Sarah Craft Yarn, and I am the designer behind uh, Sarah Craft Designs. And uh, I am coming to you from Eastern Washington State, where I live with my husband and our two kids and our little farm, which is getting smaller by the minute because coyotes like our chickens. <laughs> um, and our new little bunny. So. Um, can't believe we have another indoor pet because we never we're going to do that again uh, but we have a little bunny and she's super cute and her name is cinnamon and I will insert a picture at the end because she's cute um, so welcome if it's your first time thank you for coming to check me out and if you are a return viewer thank you for coming back and seeing what I've been up to uh, hopefully my sound is a little bit better this time um, for Christmas, my brother gifted me a new tripod for my phone, which is what I record on, and also a microphone, so that's exciting. <laughs> and he knows about all that techie stuff, so um, that was very sweet of him, so that hopefully my sound will be really good. Um, it's kind of strange to have a microphone <laughs> right here, but uh, anyway, so... Let's see, I have a couple of designs that I am working on now. I have one that I just released and I will show you that one and um, a couple of other projects I'm working on. Um, there are two finished objects that I don't have with me. I gifted them for Christmas. And so I will have inserted a picture at the beginning with the uh, name of the design and also hopefully I remember the designer's name and then um, I'll insert them again at the end so you don't have to rewind, but then you'll know what I'm talking about because I don't know how to insert pictures like, you know, here. I don't know how to do that. Um, so anyway, let's see. First, we'll sort of backtrack a little bit. Um, so I'm in Eastern Washington State and um, I, you can find me on Instagram, Facebook, and Etsy as Sarah Craft Yarn. And you can find me on Ravelry as Sarah M, S-E-R-A-M. Um, and because I've been asked, S-E-R-A is how I signed my artwork when I was in um, college for fashion merchandising and design. And um, I do not spell my name that way, but, um, but that's what I use for um, all of my artwork and design is, is Sarah spelled that way. Um, so anyway, and then Sarah Craft because I'm crafty or something. <laughs> so anyway, um, I have been asked about that, so I thought I would just address that while it was on my mind. So um, I also have a couple of giveaways to talk about and kind of a lot, I guess. So first of all, let's talk about the two projects that I finished and gifted. One is the Cliff Park hat, and that is by Diana Walla. Um, and I did that in a um, dark forest green and white. It's a color work hat, and it's actually a pretty simple color work hat. It was really fun. It took me, I don't know, maybe a day and a half at the most. Um, and I knit that for my dad. Um, the yarn I used was, um, oh, I always, I always feel like I'm saying it wrong. It's Shepherd's Worsted from Stonehenge Fiber Mill in um, Northern Michigan, which is the state I'm originally from. And um, that yarn is so great. It's a very affordable yarn. It's a woolly wool and um, it's great for color work, but it's also very, very soft. Uh, so it just, it feels really good next to your skin. And um, so I really like that yarn. So that you'll see at the end. Um, and I will also try to remember to do I'm really bad about show notes and like links below, but I'm trying really hard to be better about that. So um, I will try to link below to um, my project page or the pattern for that. Um, the other item that was finished was a sweater. It had been a test knit that I did for This Bird Knits, um, that's Annie, and um, it's called the Squall Sweater. And I used Quince & Co. Chickadee uh, in four, Four different colors um, that is a great pattern it was super fun to knit I enjoyed that very much um, and when I finished the body it was just a little bit too much positive ease for me 
Um, but my mom tried it on it. She's bustier than I am and it was perfect for her. So I did a short sleeve because she's rather petite um, and that way she could wear it with a slim leg pant and it's super cute and she just really loves it. So I finished that um, and then the other, let's see, I finished two other things. One is this hat, which is um, a test knit that I did also for this bird knits, uh, which is Annie. She's one of my favorite people to test knit for. I love her designs and I always enjoy them. Um, she's really great to work with because she really listens when you give any kind of suggestions on patterns. Um, and then her patterns are always really clearly written uh, and they're just, they're just fun. They're kind of an addictive knit. Um, and I'm actually getting ready to start another one for her. I'm just waiting for the yarn to dry. <laughs> so anyway, um, so this hat, oh, I can't remember the name of it, but I'll put it, I'll put it right here. Um, but I want to say that it's like, it's not waffle. I don't know. I can't remember. Um, but I really enjoyed this. I used yarn from um, Oloops. Oloops Yarn Company. That's Lydia. Um, her Lark base is 70% non-superwash merino, 20% silk, and 5% Stellina. It's a DK base, and the color is Angelov. And you probably can't see that sparkle, but... Um, I just really enjoyed this color and it's a little stretched out because I've been wearing it like crazy. Um, mine was not um, as slouchy as you could make it in the pattern, but um, but I love it. It's just, um, it's been in my pocket of my coat or on my head pretty much since I finished it. Um, so that's been a good one and I still have a nice amount of that yarn left um, and it might be enough for a hat for my daughter, maybe. We'll see. So, and then um, another thing I finished was uh, these Spider-Man socks, which I knit for my daughter, Amelia. And the yarn was a custom dye. I don't have the tag. It's uh, Kayla from Whips on Sticks did a Spider-Man colorway for me. Um, I showed her the movie cover for one of the newest Spider-Mans, the, um, uh, the animated one and like the newer animated one. And so I say newer, it could be like five years old because I don't go to the movies all that often. <laughs> so I'm just kind of out of touch sometimes. <laughs> but anyways, I showed her that Amelia really likes Spider-Man and it's one of her favorite movies. And so I used the um, rye light sock pattern by Tin Can Knits and I just omitted the garter um, uh, there's a garter section on the top of the leg and the top of the foot and I left that off um, I really just used it for a stitch count so it's those and again that's whips on sticks and um, it's Kayla's favorite sock and I she's not um, dying yarn right now she opened up um, tiddly bakes I think is what it's called um, and she's doing all her charms and stuff and then I think she's gonna do like special edition sort of like clubs or um, I don't know special yarns maybe for holidays and stuff because she got where she was really doing very well with all the stripes and everything and I think she wants to continue doing that but she likes to do the charms so um, and then the next thing that I have is another pair of socks and these are the appetite socks and this is my newest design I just released this design um, it's a really simple textured uh, knit and once you I haven't I haven't woven in my ends of course <laughs> why would I do that um, but uh, it's a really simple to memorize uh, texture. So once you have it down, then you can just knit and knit. And you can do the leg, of course, as long as you would like. Um, I used the Breakfast Club colorway by Lolo Did It on her awesome sock base. And it's just so pretty. There's blues and pinks and purples and gray and white and a little bit of kind of a rust color. And um, that was a really fun project to work on. And so um, I'm really happy to have 
um, another design out and I have a couple more on the needles so I'm going to be looking for testers fairly soon for a sock design and a cowl design so if you're interested please let me know um, about that and then let's see um, Another project I've been working on is the Slouchy Beanie by um, Tristan from Dragon Horde Yarn. And let's see, I know I have a little bit of crinkling from the paper. Let's see if I can find a good picture. Uh -huh. Everyday Slouchy Beanie by Tristan Molina. Um, the only problem with this, and I knew this would happen, um, is that I ran out of mohair. <laughs> So instead of having this great slouchy hat for me, um, it's I ran out right at the point where I would start the decreases for the crown. And so I started doing rapid decreases and um, it fits my daughter perfectly with a little slouch. So I'm just going to do rapid decreases only with the main color and then put a giant pom-pom on top. Um, my friend Sarah is going to... Um, uh, let me pick one from her little stash of those crazy fuzzy ones um, that everybody likes. Uh, I'm going to put one of those on here and then Amelia will have a new hat. So um, I used, let's see, I used Rowan Kid Silk Haze. Um, yeah, the colorway is ripped off, but I want to say it's like Ghost or something. I used the same color in my on the C train hat and that's why I didn't have enough because I had already done a slouchy hat with it but um, so anyway I did that and then the main color is also whips on sticks and the colorway is called fiber friends of the best friends on Kayla's favorite sock so and I really liked that so there'll be enough of that left to do socks or uh, something for me Probably, or, you know, I mean, let's face it. If it's pink, Amelia always claims it. <laughs> um, okay, so those are some of the things I've been working on. And then I also started socks for design using this. And this is yarn. I'm not going to show you the um, design. But... Um, This one is, these are for my son. Um, this is from uh, Dana from the Unwind Yarn Company on her Lux sock base. Um, it is 80% superwash merino, 10% cashmere, 10% nylon, and the color is called Alpine. And it's blue and white and brown. And it's just really, really pretty and it's super soft. So, um, so I'm working on socks for my son with those. And so I will hopefully be able to show those next time uh, when I'm done. Um, and then this I have set aside for now, but I just want to show it because it's just so pretty. Um, the uh, Autumn Pine Pullover by Sarah Stevens from Graceland Wool. Um, I started this. It was supposed to be my Christmas sweater, and um, I hurt my hand right before Christmas where I had right here in the palm of my hand was um, was like a cramp. And so movements like this really, really hurt a lot. And so I was doing a lot of stretching. So I didn't knit for like two weeks leading up to Christmas. Um, and, oh man, sorry, dropping my stitch counter, um, or my row counter rather. So this was supposed to be my Christmas sweater, but it got set aside. Um, it's so pretty and it's on my um, Superwash Merino DK um, base and this is just a one-of-a-kind colorway that I dyed um, specifically actually so that it would be red for Christmas but not like true cherry red but a nice kind of wine red um, and one of her other testers did a color like this and I just can't think of what her name is. I want to say chasing rabbit fiber but she did this color and I was like oh that that's the color I need to do so uh, so anyway this is the autumn pine pullover and it's this beautiful lace panel and then the back is stockinette and um, the lace gives it a lot of stretch so it really fits a variety of bust sizes so um, 
I think it's a little bit cropped and I'm going to make it slightly longer, but I'm going to wear it over dresses. And I think it's just really nice because you don't have to use a huge quantity of yarn and you still get a lot of um, um, ease. You know, I mean, with that lace, it really just does stretch quite a lot. So a lot of people would be able to knit that and it would be very flattering um, and fit a lot of people. So, and then the other thing that I cast on um, is the Wool and Honey Pullover by Andrea Mowry. So I was inspired by um, Stacy from Stress Knits. Uh, she did the year of Andrea and she did a bunch of Andrea Mowry patterns. And when she first mentioned it, I thought, oh, I'm not gonna do that. That's, I'm not doing that, I'm not interested in doing that. And then, you know, your tastes change. I don't really like to do a make nine because with a make nine, I always change my mind. My style might change ever so slightly or my wardrobe needs might change a little bit. Um, and so it never made sense to me to do a make nine. I tried and I just never ever wanted to finish it. So when I was thinking about what I would want to make this year, uh, I wanted to use stash. I wanted to make sure that everything I was knitting was stuff that I truly loved and fit into my wardrobe. So with that said, I have frogged a few things. I plan to frog my Nordiska, if you guys have seen me working on that, and it's that chocolate brown because I ran out of one of the colors and um, frankly it's not, I don't like how it fits me. Um, and there's no reason to continue on with something that's just not right. So. I'm going to frog that. So I was looking through the patterns that I already have and I realized that several of the things I want to knit are Andrea Mowry patterns. Um, and the things I have made of hers I really like. And I thought, you know, I'm gonna sort of do a year of Andrea and I'm gonna knit as many of her patterns as I have or that I have time for. So um, this one is the Wool and Honey. You guys are probably all familiar with it but it's a pullover um, and I frogged my Birkin <laughs> that I had cast on way too long ago because my tension changed, my color work was a little bit puckery um, and I want to knit that at some point. I did not like the three and four colors in one row. It was really bothering me and because my tension changed, it just didn't look great. So instead of continuing on, frog the whole thing. So I am using the gray, which is the snowbound from Brooklyn, uh, from Brooklyn Tweed and it's the loft. So the color is snowbound. Um, and I'm using that for my, for my wool and honey instead. Um, and so I haven't gotten too far because I've been working on socks but it's just the beginning of it. That's the back, the short rows. So I'm really excited to be working on that soon. Um, and as I continue on with all of these small projects and designs, then I will just work on that. Once I get past that yoke part, it's just gonna be simple anyway. So that'll be good. Um, but I think I think that that might be all I'm working on. Um, but I have two, well, I have some yarn to show you for um, giveaways. Uh, Susan from Desert Vista Dye Works was so kind and generous and she sent some yarn for yarn support for designs and she also sent some for giveaways. So um, I am going to um, put this in my pile for designs. This is the uh, Desert Vista Dye Works Viso Base. Um, let's see. The colorway is Color Accents Yellow Six Stripe Self Striping Yarn. There's gray, black, and like a lemon yellow and a little bit of white. So that's really pretty. So I'm going to put that in my design pile. Um, and then for you guys, for giveaway. So we're going to do a self-striping sock knit along this spring. Um, so it will not be from this episode, but like 
coming up in the spring, we'll do a self-striping sock or mitten knit-along. And I have two prizes for that. One is this Desert Vista Dye Works Viso and Pineapple Upside Down Cake, three stripes self-striping yarn. And so there's red and orange and yellow with some speckles on the yellowy part. So that'll be good. And then um, I also have Bring My Zombodies uh, mini skein set. Sorry, sorry about the crinkling. So it has all these different fun colors and that will be a prize also. So stay tuned for that. And then from, um, from this episode, um, I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you this giveaway. This giveaway will be, um, I would like to, uh, get to a hundred subscribers for my podcast. So when I get to a hundred, I am going to be giving away this skein, which is O Loops in the Bloody Baron. This is on the Platinum Sock Face, which is 75% Superwash Merino, 25% Nylon, 463 yards. And then um, I have this cute little pouch from Cherry Pie Cottage. And inside the pouch is this cute little stitch marker. And I'm sorry for the crinkling, but I'm not going to take it out because it's cute. Um, in their little package. So when I hit 100 subscribers, this will be the giveaway. So if you um, are liking my content, if you would like, share, um, you know, let your friends know about my podcast, and then um, I will be able to draw for that. And I also have goals for um, Instagram. Um, and when I get to certain goals, I have some really great giveaways for that as well that are lined up. So I think... I think that's it. Um, I feel like I had more I wanted to share, but I don't know. Um, and this is a pretty good length. I like to stay in the 20 to 35 minute um, range on my timing. So um, so I will go for now and then I will insert pictures of the um, finished objects at the beginning at the end. And I'll put a little picture of our bunny and um, hopefully uh, I will be able to record again soon. So I hope you're all doing well. Happy knitting.